We're going to be entering the waters in just a bit. Those of you who would like to go down, the rest of us will go through uh, a different tunnel, a dry tunnel. Here's the deal. The water systems that were being built already from the days of Abraham are about a thousand years old plus. Uh, between the action of earthquakes and erosion and other things, some of them go out of use. You get a crack in a cistern and what can you do, right? Uh, plus the pressure of the Assyrian attack combined with, fortunately, the expertise and the charisma and the ability and the power of Hezekiah. I'll tell you, it's a good thing for Judah that they had a king like Hezekiah when Sennacherib came. Otherwise, it would have been all over a lot quicker for Judah. We read in the Bible in various places about the work that Hezekiah did to prepare the city and to prepare his kingdom. The seal that Chandra showed you yesterday was part of that effort, where the economy was centralized in four supply cities. Maybe the military was centralized as well to help let's say, raise taxes to pay for the effort that it's going to take to withstand against the Assyrians. He fortifies 46 strong cities, numerous villages, all of them as buffer zones for Jerusalem. Sennacherib, the king, ends up taking all of the cities. Jerusalem is the only one that still stands. Now, what Hezekiah did here was to strengthen the walls in various places, to repair some of the um, 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 administrative buildings to, to make new weapons, like a new round of tanks, right, and bombs, uh, and to um, better the water system for the siege. And to do that, he dug a new tunnel. Um, fifth, uh, 12, uh, no, no, 150 feet below the rock surface, 1,750 feet long, underground, Sinuous, dug from both ends at the same time to meet in the middle. We know that partly from the text that was found here, the Siloam inscription, and partly you see the chisel marks on the tunnel. You see them going opposite ways and then finally meeting. Enough for one guy at a time to be working each direction. Chiseling, throwing the stuff back, other people pulling it back behind them. It's amazing what you will do if the alternative is to die. <laughs> Uh, in the end, the water flows. It, the gradient is one foot over 1,750 feet. So just enough to bring it into a pool of water at the very southern end of the city. <coughs> How do you do that in terms of engineering? How do you know you're going to meet in the middle? Especially if you're going like this. And the best suggestion is, uh, this is karstic rock. There's water seepages many places. The best suggestion is that there was already water seeping through, and they simply opened up the channel and are simply following them that, that natural fissure in the rock. What I'm going to let you guys do is go through, those of you who want to walk through the tunnel, go through the tunnel. Those of us who are going to be not will be going through another tunnel and following me. Let's go this way. Yeah. There is local iron ore mm -hmm. in the south. Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. south, it's soft, but there is iron in there. Excellent. Make fun of God for you. Make fun of the Lord. Greek war shorts. Fuck to the God. Show to the God. Show to the God. 